Hi, this is Corey Smith with My First Drone, and today we're going to be talking about the DJI Spark controller. More importantly, the lag that you experience when using the controller. So for a beginner, flying around with the Spark using the controller works pretty well, but if you're an experienced pilot and you've flown the Mavic or the Phantom, you'll notice that there's quite a bit of a delay in the video feed. There's a couple things that you can do to fix that. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you're using a device that's fast enough to actually process the video and display it properly. So if you're using an iPhone 7 or a Galaxy S8 or something like that, then you're going to be fine. But if you're using a phone that's like two, three, four years old, then you might have a major problem when you're looking at the video feed. Also, some people have said that Android actually is slower than iOS when running the DJI Go app. So if you have an iPhone laying around or some other iOS device, you can try that and see if it's any better. Now, another thing that you can do, which works really, really well, but it's not the best solution in the world, is you can get this little USB cord that's micro USB to normal USB and then plug that into your iPhone cable or your Android USB-C cable or whatever cable you're using. And then you can plug that into the back of the controller and plug the other side into the phone. So when you use it this way, there's a lot less lag, but obviously you've got a cable hanging out, so there's that. So here we have three videos. The first one is using the cord option. The second one is using Wi-Fi. And the third one is using no controller at all, just connecting directly to the Spark. The first video looks really good. The second video looks okay, but then there's times where it slows down and speeds up and it's really weird. And then the last video, which is the just Wi-Fi and no controller, actually doesn't look bad. And then if you look at all of them slow down to 25%, you'll see that the first one is the winner, the second one comes after, and then the third one. But one thing that I've noticed, even though there's more delay when not using the controller at all, is that it's actually more consistent. So that's it for this video. Hopefully DJI fixes this via a firmware update in the future, but if they don't, then I'm just gonna use the cord. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.